My name is Jin Ha, and I play Song Li Ling in M Butterfly. Song Li Ling is a Beijing opera performer, star, who falls into a relationship uh, with a French diplomat who is in Beijing at the time, and also is later revealed to be a spy for the Chinese Communist government. To be able to play a role that's so open and so unabashedly present is terrifying, but also thrilling. My preparation daily is different. What stays consistent is I always have music playing while makeup is doing, being done because I'm called here an hour before the curtain. It's usually jazz, usually some Thelonious Monk or Esperanza Spalding. Sometimes I throw a little bit of Sufjan Stevens or Sarah Bareilles in there. And then sometimes if I'm feeling frisky, a little bit of classic rock with some Hendrix or, you know, John Mayer. <laughs> But music certainly is, is, is a staple of getting ready. Anything that helps me let the dust settle in my warm-ups, in my stretching, in getting my makeup done, it's all about settling. The most surprising thing about playing this role has been how much of everything I have learned and everything that I have studied or trained to do or discovered that I can or cannot do is being used in this show. I'm singing in it, I'm singing soprano, didn't know I could do that. <laughs> uh, I'm doing fight choreography with a spear. I'm doing dance choreography with water sleeves. I'm wearing dresses and I'm in heels. I have like 12 quick changes <laughs> backstage. It takes up all of me to play this role every time. I mean, how often will I, will I be this challenged by a role, this fulfilled by a role? I'm a storyteller. What an amazing job that is. I get paid to tell stories. On top of that, I get to tell a story that is so relevant to my experience outside of the theater as an Asian American man. I get to tell stories that hopefully resonate with other people that have lived experiences not of my own, but perhaps in Song's experience, queer folk or other immigrants or other marginalized people who have experienced the same type of social oppression or trauma or who have fallen in love and who have felt betrayal or who have had a fantasy of theirs shattered unexpectedly. That kind of universal tale is what I do for a living. It's incredible. When I see myself in full makeup, right before I step onto the stage, I feel beautiful. The moment before I step onto the stage, I take a deep breath do a final kind of loosening up of my neck, my shoulders, my hands, my wrists. And I'd say to myself, F it. 